on the CPGM Top 50 is Ohio State's defensive edge player, Nick Bosa. Yes, brother of Joey. Yeah, I'm not sleeping on Nick Bosa. Kind of slept on Joey Bosa coming out. The fit, you know, at the Chargers draft him at the time. Mm -hmm. Didn't know if he could play five technique. Thought he was like a 4-3 end. Overthought it. So I'm not overthinking Nick Bosa because he wins in a similar way. Uses his hands effectively. He can bend the edge outside or rush inside. Closest to the quarterback in a hurry. Plays the run game effectively. He gets compared to Joey a lot. Mm -hmm. But I see a little J.J. Watt in his game. Mm. Oof. Yeah, J.J. When I look at Nick Bosa, I see a guy who's he, he's he's got a plan. He's the man with the plan when he's lining up against the offensive lineman. He's getting he's giving you a variation of different things that you have to worry about. You know, that hand usage that you spoke about is off the charts. He's using every every using the chop, the stab, the lit. He's using everything that mm -hmm. that comes with playing a defensive edge player. He defends the run very well, like you said. I, I don't know if there's a weakness in his game off the edge playing for Ohio State. His motor alone is gonna make him a good NFL player. At the very least, I see Ryan Kerrigan. He has a very high floor. He anticipates the snap. He's also a, a, a system versatile guy. I think depending on, on his playing weight, I think he could drop weight or gain weight. He could play five technique, standing up outside linebacker or a traditional 4-3 uh, defensive end. Also, when I watch him, you know, I, I see a guy who's, who's headsy. He knows his responsibility. He knows, yep. he knows the defense. He knows his responsibility. He knows that... You know, hey, I, I can't go for the quarterback. I got I to gotta contain. I got to stay within the concept of the defense. And, and he's always got his high eyes in the backfield, always looking for the football. It's not always about, you know, can I get to the quarterback? Hands are up. You can kind of tell that he he had someone in his family play football. It's it's just not a guy playing off pure talent. There's some there's some football IQ with this guy. Yeah, it's a technician. Te exactly, exactly. And when you look at Nick Bosa and you look at Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, to me, is the more complete player. You know, Joey is the, the better pass rusher, the, the more quote-unquote dynamic guy coming off the edge. Nick Bosa is the guy who can defend the run very well because he has the bag of tricks, because he's always keeping the offensive linemen, you know, on their heels with the variations of different things that he's doing to them. He can beat, beat the offensive tackle, whether it be the right tackle, left tackle, whoever it is, because they're on their heels. They don't know what's coming. You know, it's, it, it's almost like he's a new player every time he's walking out there. And I've heard offensive linemen say, you know, I'd rather face the same guy over and over rather than facing a different guy every five to six plays. And that's kind of what he is. He's a different guy. He's um, I'm morphed into a different player now. So now you have to deal with this guy, you know. So, you know, th that's a hell of a trick. Because of all of that, I, I think he has the highest floor in the entire class. I think he's probably one of the, the safest prospects in this draft class. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to jump on board with that. I'm going to get on that that train. And, and just to reference the two previous, Josh Allen, who's number two, we like him because of his versatility. We like Quinn Williams because, you know, the power, the speed that he offers, but it's it's a one-year right. sample size. Josh Allen versatility is not necessarily the best pass rusher, but he offers you that spatial awareness. He can do kind of a little of everything. But we're talking about a, a, a complete player with a, a bigger sample size and – what he does so well at the position that he plays. Complete player at that position. I mean, everybody looking for that guy. I think the reason he's not my number one player, he's my number two prospect, is Williams. Williams' immense potential. He, how, how dominant I think he could be in the, the NFL. The ceiling. The ceiling. Yeah. Exactly. The ceiling of Williams. For Allen, for me, I, I'm going to talk about the versatility that you can you can build a defense around this guy. You can do so many different things, what we call it Legos. He can make everyone on the defense better, putting everyone at their optimal positions. Not, not to say that you can't do that with Nick, but it's a lot harder when he's only playing one position or he's only doing one thing. There you have it. That is our breakdown on Nick Bosa, our number three prospect in the CPGM Top 50.